guys and welcome back. Today I'm filming a QA. and a Woo! Were you just yelling at them? Now I have not done one of these on my channel yet and a lot of you have questions about me and fitness and stuff and my dog. So I'm here to answer all of the questions. All right, so Stephanie De La Cruz asks, in what city did you grow up in? Did you attend college? Girl, I love you. You are literally hashtag goals. No, Stephanie, our friendship is goals, and I love you too. So I was born in California, and then I moved down to Arizona. Going into sixth grade, we moved to Ohio, Cincinnati, and then I lived there until I graduated from high school, and then I moved to Utah. Woo! And then, yes, I did attend college. I graduated from Utah State University, which is in Logan, Utah, like the very top of Utah. Kimberly Russo asks, I always struggle when I count macros. What do you think about intuitive eating? So when I first started my fitness journey, I was all about counting macros, right? Because the awesome thing about counting macros is you know exactly what is being put into your body. And when I was going from someone who knew nothing about fitness to getting into the fitness world, I was in for a very rude awakening when I realized everything I was putting into my body. So I'm all for counting macros and I'm all for eating intuitively because sometimes you're just too busy in life to be counting macros. And if you understand what you are putting into your body, then intuitive eating is awesome because you don't have to stand there with your app and scan everything. You know, you can just eat as you please. Shiloh Morris asks, where do you live and how old are you? I live around Salt Lake City and I am 23 years old. Loanna Cavo asks, what do you think are the benefits of working out not only on your body, but also mentally? Okay, so this is an awesome, awesome question because when I started working out, yes, I was not happy with my body, but mentally I was just in a terrible place. The gym is my therapy. I'm a very big stressor and the gym is the place that I go to when I need a fun place to be, a happy place to be. I have stress. I am upset. I'm happy. I am bored. Fashion Mistress asks, what are the headphones you use when you work out and how do they hook up to your phone? I list everything that I talk about and use in the description box below. So I use the Beats wireless headphones and they sync to my phone with Bluetooth. So I'll just put my phone on the floor or in my bag and then I can just like walk away and I can still hear music. So they're my favorite, they hook around my ears and they just, they just stay right there, you know? I don't have to bother with them. Brizzy, Brizzy girl, you cute. She asked, did you go to college? If so, what did you major in? So yes, I went to college. I did a major in communication all right, not communications. I learned that the day I graduated and then I did a minor in human resource management, which is also what I wanna get my master's in because I love HR, love it. Rachel Davis asks, how do you cope with being stared at while you're working out in the gym? When I first started working out and I thought people were staring at me, um, I hated it. Now I've started to realize that usually I'm just making it up and if I'm not making it up and I catch them just staring at me, this is me. And then they just immediately, they'll look away, right? Because they got busted. You know, we caught them. And then if they don't look away, I just say, <clears throat> can I help you? KTY, girl! She asks me, have you ever had your boobs done? Girl, no, I have not. My boobs are as real as real can be. Um, have I thought about getting a boob job? <sighs> Not yet. I know a lot of women in the fitness industry have boobs. I have been told that I will not be successful in the fitness industry if I don't get fake boobs. But you know, right now I'm happy, I'm content. Yes, I've lost a lot of them as I lost weight, you know, cause boobs are fat. But that's why we work out chest every Wednesday, you know, you know. Random girl 822 asks, what music do you listen to when you work out? Um, I have a very, very secret obsession. I don't tell a lot of people this. A very big obsession with EDM music. I, I will hate a song, right? Like, I was so sick of Work by Rihanna, and then there's an EDM remix of it, and I can't get enough of it. Anna Ruby R, 
what is the key to be and stay motivated into healthy life and fitness? So my biggest suggestion, this is a great question. The thing that you need to remember is this is not a diet. This is a lifestyle. So if you consider this a diet, you're going to give up immediately, right? Because how long can people really diet? This is not a go all or nothing. This is just a lifestyle. So if you put that mindset that this is a lifestyle and this is something you need to be working on every single day, making the changes to be the person that you want to be physically and mentally, you will stay motivated. D. Erdra, she asks a few questions that I've already answered and then she asks, do you wear makeup to the gym? If yes, why? Yes, I wear makeup to the gym. Let me tell you something. I go straight from work to the gym. Do you really think that I'm going to take my time in the bathroom and wash my face? No. No, I'm not, because then after the gym, I'm going to have to wash my face again. And now that's two times I had to wash my face in a matter of two hours. If you want to wear makeup to the gym, wear makeup to the gym. You should feel good when you go to the gym. And if putting a little quick makeup here and there makes you feel better, I'm all for it. Sophia asks, can you post before and after pictures? I post before and after pictures on my Instagram at Whitney with two Y's Simon. There's me before and there's me after. So you can go ahead and check that out on Instagram if you'd like to see more. Crystal, Caitlin, and Rochelle, and Kate all ask me if I'll do a makeup tutorial, a skincare routine, Tell us the products you use, uh, what makeup do you wear to the gym, etc. Okay, I love makeup, okay? It is a very big passion of mine. I would love to do makeup tutorials or skincare routine or my morning routine, you know, all the cute little uh, videos that beauty gurus do. But I'm not a beauty guru. I'm a fitness guru. So if you want to see that, I'm more than happy to do it, but I need people to tell me that you want to see. If you guys want to see more of like the beauty side, let me know. Please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, letting me know, and then write a comment below, okay? Because I will do it, but I just don't want to lose my fitness people, you know? I don't want you guys to be like, oh, Whitney, you're doing beauty videos? Okay, I'm out. All right, guys, that is it for my Q&A today. Thank you so much for your questions. Navy and I had a great time answering them. Didn't we? Didn't we? Okay. Be sure to add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Bye guys.